a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Jacob Rees-Mogg Jacob William Rees-Mogg is a British politician serving as the Member of Parliament for North East Somerset since the general election of 2010, a member of the Conservative Party. His views have been characterised as socially conservative and as on the hard right of the party. Rees-Mogg was born in Hammersmith, London, and educated at Eton College. He then studied history at Trinity College, Oxford, and was president of the Oxford University Conservative Association. He worked in the City of London for Lloyd George Management until 2007, then co-founded a hedge fund management business, Somerset Capital Management LLP. Rees-Mogg has amassed a significant fortune. In 2016, he and his wife had a combined net worth estimated at more than £100 million. Moving into politics, he unsuccessfully contested the 1997 and 2001 general elections before being elected as the MP for North East Somerset in 2010. He was re-elected in 2015 and 2017. Within the Conservative Party, he joined the traditionalist and socially conservative cornerstone group. Under David Cameron's government, Rees-Mogg was one of the Parliamentary Conservative Party's most rebellious members. Opposing the government on issues such as the introduction of same-sex marriage and further intervention in the Syrian civil war, he became known for his speeches and filibustering in parliamentary debates. A Eurosceptic, he proposed a conservative coalition with the UK Independence Party and campaigned for the Leave side in the 2016 referendum on membership of the European Union. He subsequently joined pro-Brexit pressure groups Leave Means Leave and the European Research Group, becoming chairman of the latter. He attracted support through the social media campaign Mogmentum and has been promoted as a potential successor to Conservative Prime Minister Theresa May. Rees-Mogg is a controversial figure in British politics. He has been praised as a conviction politician whose anachronistic upper-class mannerisms and consciously traditionalist attitudes are often seen as entertaining and has been dubbed the honourable member for the 18th century. On the other hand, Critics view him as a reactionary figure, and some of his positions have made him the target of organized protest and criticism. Early Life and Education Rees Mogg was born in Hammersmith on 24 May 1969, the youngest son of William Rees Mogg, a former editor of the Times newspaper, created a life peer in 1988 by his wife Gillian Shakespeare Morris. A daughter of Thomas Richard Morris, a Conservative Party local government politician and mayor of St Pancras in London. He was one of five children, having three elder siblings, Emma Beatrice Rees-Mogg, Charlotte Louise Rees-Mogg and Thomas Fletcher Rees-Mogg, and one younger sister, Anunziata Rees-Mogg. Prior to his birth, in 1964 the family purchased Storn Easton Park, a country house located near the village of Storn Easton in Somerset where Rees-Mogg grew up attending weekly mass and occasionally Sunday school at the Church of the Holy Ghost, Midsummer Norton. Here he started catechism in 1975 under his governess and attended mass in the ordinary form. A few years later, in 1978, the family moved to the nearby village of Hinton Blewett where they purchased the old rectory. A grade two listed former rectory, today valued at two million pounds. Living in Somerset, he regularly commuted to his family's second home in Smith Square, London, where he also attended independent boys' prep school Westminster under school. Growing up, Rees-Mogg was primarily raised by the family's nanny Veronica Crook, whom he describes as a formative figure. Crook now looks after Rees-Mogg's own children, having worked for the family for over 50 years. When Rees-Mogg was 10, he was left £50 by a distant cousin and his father, on his behalf. Invested in shares in the now defunct General Electric Company, Rees-Mogg ascribes to this event the beginnings of his interest in stock markets, having learned how to read company reports and balance sheets. He later attended a shareholders meeting at JEC, where he voted against a motion, because dividends were too low. He subsequently invested in London-based conglomerate Lonro eventually owning 340 shares, and reportedly caused the company's chairman Lord Duncan Sandys discomfort 
by quizzing him at an annual general meeting on the low dividends offered to shareholders. At Jack in 1981, where he now owned 175 shares, he told the chairman Lord Nelson that the dividend on offer was pathetic, sparking amusement among board members and media. After prep school, Rees-Mogg entered Eton College, where he was described by a former teacher as a dogmatic Thatcherite with high opinions, but never rebellious. Upon leaving Eton, he had his portrait painted by Paul Branson R.P. for the Eton College collections, which was later put in display during the Faces of 1993 Royal Society of Portrait Painters exhibit. He later read history at Trinity College, Oxford, where he graduated with an upper second-class honours degree in 1991. While at Oxford he became president of the Oxford University Conservative Association and was a member and frequent debater at the Oxford Union, where he was elected librarian, reflecting on his time at university. He has admitted regret at not having studied classics. Career After graduating from the University of Oxford in 1991, Rees-Mogg worked for the Rothschild Investment Bank under Nils Torb before moving to Hong Kong in 1993 to join Lloyd George Management. During his tenure in Hong Kong, he became a close friend with Governor Chris Patton and was a regular at Government House. Three years later, he returned to London and was put in charge of some of the firm's emerging markets funds and by 2003, was managing a newly established Lloyd George Emerging Markets Fund. In 2007, Rees Mogg left the company with a number of colleagues to set up their own fund management firm, Somerset Capital Management, with the aid of hedge fund manager Chris Pinodi. Following Rees Mogg's election as the Member of Parliament for North East Somerset, he stepped down as chief executive of the company. However, he continues to receive income in his capacity as a partner. Somerset Capital Management is managed via subsidiaries in the tax havens of the Cayman Islands and Singapore. Rees-Mogg has defended offshore tax havens, and his vast wealth has left him open to the criticism that he cannot understand the lives and concerns of many ordinary people. In 2018, Somerset Capital opened an investment fund in Dublin. A prospectus for the new business listed Brexit as one of the risks, as it could cause considerable uncertainty. Rees-Mogg, who is a partner of the business, but does not make investment decisions, defended the move stating, the decision to launch the fund was nothing whatsoever to do with Brexit. Parliamentary candidate and other roles Rees-Mogg first entered politics at the 1997 general election at which, aged 26, he was selected as the Conservative Party candidate for Central Fife, a traditional Labour seat in Scotland. With an upper-class background set against a predominantly working-class electorate, Rees-Mogg was criticised by many constituents for being too posh, a claim he refused to acknowledge as an issue. News stories from the time ridiculed Rees-Mogg for canvassing the area with his family's nanny and touring the constituency in a Bentley, a claim that he later branded, scurrilous, insisting it had been a Mercedes. With a name recognition of less than 2%, Rees-Mogg managed to gain the third highest number of votes on election night, earning 9% of all votes cast a figure much lower than that of previous Conservative Party candidates for the area. However, no new Conservative MPs were elected in Scotland that year. The Conservative Party suffered its worst electoral defeat since 1906, and lost all its seats in Scotland. In 1999, when it was being rumoured that his, anachronistically posh, accent was working against his chances of being selected for a safe Conservative seat. Rees-Mogg was defended by letter writers to the Daily Telegraph, one of whom claimed that, an overt form of intimidation exists, directed against anyone who dares to eschew the current, Americanized, mode of behavior, speech and dress. Rees-Mogg himself stated that, it is rather pathetic to fuss about accents too much. Though he then went on to say that, John Prescott's accent certainly stereotypes him as an oaf a comment which he later said he regretted and for which he apologized. He later said, I gradually realized that whatever I happened to be speaking about, the number of voters in my favor dropped as soon as I opened my mouth. Rees-Mogg was selected as the conservative candidate for the Reckon in Shropshire for the 2001 general election. 
but lost to the sitting Labour MP Peter Bradley who achieved a 0.95% swing to Labour against the national trend of a 3.5% swing to the Conservatives. From 2005 to 2008, he was the elected chairman of the Cities of London and Westminster Conservative Association. In 2006, Rees-Mogg criticised efforts by then leader of the Conservative Party David Cameron to increase the representation of ethnic minorities on the party candidate list, arguing that fulfilling quotas can often make it harder for the intellectually able, and that 95% of this country is white. The list can't be totally different from the country at large. In March 2009, Rees-Mogg was forced to apologise to Trevor Kavanagh, the then political editor of The Sun. After it was shown that a newsletter signed by Rees-Mogg had plagiarized sections of a Kavanaugh article that had appeared in the newspaper over a month earlier, in December 2009, a pamphlet which purported to show him talking to a local constituent and calling on the government to show more honesty, was criticized after it emerged that the constituent was a London-based employee of his investment firm. He was one of the directors of the Catholic Hospital of St. John and St. Elizabeth in London who were ordered to resign by Cardinal Cormac Murphy O'Connor in February 2008 after protracted arguments over the adoption of a tighter ethical code banning non-Catholic practices such as abortions and gender reassignment surgery at the hospital. Parliament Rees-Mogg was described by Camilla Long in a profile in the Sunday Times as David Cameron's worst nightmare during the 2010 general election campaign. At that election, Rees-Mogg became the new Member of Parliament for the new North East Somerset constituency with a majority of 4,914 votes. His sister, journalist Anansiata Rees-Mogg, stood simultaneously in neighbouring Somerton and Frum, but failed by 1,817 votes to win her seat. In The Guardian, Ian Jack had claimed that the selection of two such highly privileged candidates had damaged the Conservative Party's message of social inclusion, appearing to suggest that privileged candidates should be excluded. Cameron Government The Conservative Home blog rates Rees Mogg as one of the Conservatives' most rebellious MPs. He has voted against the government whip on a fixed term Parliament's bill the October 2011 European Union referendum motion, and the House of Lords Reform Bill 2012. In the House of Commons, Rees-Mogg has gained a reputation for his humorous speeches and ability to filibuster. He helped filibuster the Daylight Saving Bill 2010-12, and the Sustainable Livestock Bill 2010-12, thus preventing their passage through Parliament. In his long speech on the Sustainable Livestock Bill, he recited poetry spoke of the superior quality of Somerset eggs, and mentioned the fictional pig, the Empress of Blandings, who won silver at the Shropshire County show three years in a row, before moving on to talk about the sewerage system and the Battle of Agin Court. He also attempted to amend the Daylight Saving Bill to give the County of Somerset its own time zone, 15 minutes behind London, in a December 2011 debate on London Local Authorities Bill. He said that council officials with the power to issue on-the-spot fines should be made to wear bowler hats. In February 2012, he used the word, flocks and or senior meaning, the habit of considering as worthless, during a parliamentary debate. It was noted as the longest word then uttered on the floor of the House of Commons. In May 2013, he addressed the annual dinner held by the traditional Britain group, a right-wing group that calls for non-white Britons to be deported. Rees-Mogg had been informed as to the nature of the group by anti-fascist group Searchlight prior to his attendance. After the dinner, he informed the press that although he had been informed of the group's views, he had never been a member or supporter of them. In January 2014, he dismissed the sum of £250,000 spent on M.P.S portraits as trivial by saying, I'm all for saving money, saving money right, left and center. But this is chicken feed. In December 2014, Rees-Mogg was reported to the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority for speaking in debates on tobacco, mining, and oil, and gas without first verbally declaring he is founding partner and director of Somerset Capital, 
which manages multi-million pound investments in these sectors. The Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards, Catherine Hudson, decided that no wrongdoing had been committed and so no investigation would take place. According to the Daily Telegraph, Rees Mogg's extra parliamentary work took up 476 hours or 9 hours per week in 2014. May Government After Cameron resigned in the wake of the referendum result, the Conservatives had a leadership election in which Rees Mogg initially supported Boris Johnson, after Johnson chose not to run. Rees Mogg endorsed Michael Gove, and after Gove was eliminated, he backed Andrea Leadsom. Leadsom then stepped down, allowing Theresa May to become Conservative leader and Prime Minister. Initially a supporter of Donald Trump in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, he distanced himself from the then Republican Party nominee after the Donald Trump Access Hollywood tape surfaced in October 2016. He has distanced himself from Trump's controversies on Twitter saying the medium is fundamentally trivial. In November 2017, Rees Mogg met Trump's former White House chief strategist and Breitbart News Executive Chairman Steve Bannon to discuss how right-wing movements can succeed in the United Kingdom and the United States. Rees Mogg later defended the meeting when asked about it in an interview, stating, I've talked to any number of people whose political views I do not share or fully endorse. Inevitably politicians meet other politicians. Mr. Bannon was the chief of staff to President Trump and is a senior figure in the Republican Party. Rees Mogg is widely regarded as a potential candidate for the leadership of his party, something he was reportedly considering during 2017. On 13 August 2017, however, Rees Mogg said that such speculation was part of media's silly season. Two Conservative MPs, Heidi Allen and Anna Soubry, announced that they would leave the party if he became leader. Another, Justine Greening, suggested she could do the same. However, other Conservative MPs, such as Jesse Norman and Daniel Korzynski have expressed support for a prospective Rees Mogg leadership bid. Former UKIP leader Nigel Farage has also backed a potential Rees Mogg candidacy. Following the 2017 general election, Calls were made for Theresa May to step down as Prime Minister and leader of the Conservative Party after failing to win an overall majority in the House of Commons. This led news outlets to begin speculating on May's possible successor with Boris Johnson touted as the bookmaker's favourite and Rees Mogg being given 51 odds. A day after the election on 9 June an online petition, titled Ready for Rees Mogg, was set up urging Rees Mogg to run for leader of the Conservative Party hoping to mirror the success of pro-Corbyn activist group Momentum. A play on words hashtag of Mogmentum was created. By the 8th of July, the campaign had attracted over 13,000 signatures and raised £2,000 in donations with leadership odds being slashed to 16-1 making him second favourite behind David Davis. On the 14th of August, co-founder of Ready for Reese Mog Sam Frost announced the petition had gathered 22,000 registered supporters, 700 volunteers and £7,000 in donations. Despite Rees Mogg having said a day earlier that such speculation was part of media's silly season. On 5 September 2017, a poll conducted by Conservative Home put Rees Mogg as the favourite for next leader. With 23% of the votes based on 1,309 people surveyed, in January 2018 he was elected chair of the European Research Group a eurosceptic pressure group within the Conservative Party. A report in The Independent suggested that this position provided him with the immediate support of around 50 Conservative MPs, a sufficient number to trigger a leadership contest. Rees Mogg has since directly criticised the leadership of May and Chancellor Philip Hammond, fueling more rumours that he is planning to stand for the leadership, but reiterated he has no intention of doing so. In February, a speech that Rees Mogg was giving at the University of the West of England was disrupted when protesters accused him of being a racist and a bigot. Violence broke out between the protesters and Mogg's supporters. A supporter of hard Brexit, Rees Mogg has been highly critical of the government's handling of the Brexit negotiations, in particular Theresa May's Chequers deal, calling it staying in the EU without a vote. He has supported a Canada Plus deal as a compromise.
This would allow for tariff-free trade, without the UK remaining in the single market or the customs union. In 2018, as part of a Sunday Times investigation into online abuse following controversial comments made by Boris Johnson regarding the niqab and media controversy regarding Tory Islamophobia, it was revealed that a number of Facebook groups supportive of Rees Mogg and Johnson were leaving. Widespread, Islamophobic and racist comments on Johnson's Facebook page, including, support for Enoch Powell, and his Rivers of Blood speech, incitement to violence and murder against Muslims, Islamophobic attacks on London Mayor Sadiq Khan and support for far-right activist Tommy Robinson. In response, Rees Mogg said he was supporting a private member's bill put forward by Labour MP Lucy Powell to regulate social media, and added, people who have these types of views should take no solace in using Johnson's comments as an excuse to take this approach. Rees Mogg defended Johnson against accusations of Islamophobia and criticized the party for initiating disciplinary action against Johnson in order, Rees Mogg claims, to weaken Johnson politically calling it a low-grade abuse of power, as well as a show trial and a witch hunt. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?